Hey everybody, it's Patty Dobrovolsky with Up Your Creative Genius and our Creative Genius You series, the equation that makes you great. This is week nine in our series and we start the examination with intuition. Intuition is so awesome and it's the second part of the equation. Imagination's the first, intuition is second. And why? Intuition is this subtle, subtle instinct that we have access to all the time. It's our creative genius superpower. And so we want to get really good at it. Now it's mysterious intuition and it occurs in a whole bunch of different ways. What it does is it pulls from information that is layered in all the billions, billions of information that sit in your brain and in your body. All the knowingness of you that's in that subconscious and subliminal sense, that's what activates and creates this nudge that you grab when you have a question or you're working on something or you're thinking about something. And the way that intuition works best is if you are in an alpha state, meaning a state where you're not really directly focused on it, meaning using your mind to try to solve and work that problem really hard. It's when you're just relaxed and you're allowing yourself to sift through all the ideas, maybe in the shower or on a run or maybe in meditation, or just when you're relaxed enough to let the idea come through. Now, what's true about your intuition is that it's, it is really in that superpower way capable of getting you further faster. Why? Because it's operating all the time. And most of us, we keep the volume down low. And the way we keep it down low is by being caught up in all the distractions of what's happening in our world, because that's what our brain likes to do. It loves all the minutia of every little problem and thing and worry and blah, 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 right? But intuition is that part of us that's grounded and it's always available for us to access and people access it in different ways. Some people feel their intuition in their body or they see something and it's an image form or they hear something like they might get a nudge and it's, it's a sound that they hear or some people just claim they just know. They just know. Well, where's that knowing come from? I don't know, but it's awesome. And to me, it's magic. And if you can come in contact with your intuition and build it, drive it up, it will help you, give you encouragement and confidence about who you are and how you can behave in the world and be and bring your bigger self. And it also can give you a warning. For example, my friend Phil Shepard was living in Thailand with his partner and he, you know, every day he would walk his dog down to the beach. Well, on this one morning, he got this nudge to go walk into the mountains instead of down at the beach. And that was really fortunate because that was that day that that huge tsunami hit and washed out all of the beaches. And so, you know, it's just a subtle nudge and it really requires you paying attention. So how do we do that? Well, first, Steve Jobs said that he believes that believed that more intuition was more powerful than intellect. And Einstein was all about your intuition and how intuition would get you to the better result. So how do we drive up and encourage ourselves with our intuition? Well, first, we want to put ourselves in some sort of relaxed state. And then we're going to ask ourselves a question. Now, it can be a simple question like, where should we go for dinner? Right? Where can we go and have some social distancing and wear our masks and still enjoy a meal, right? So these are some things that are in consideration, but where of our options would be the best place for us to have the best time, right? So we put those options out and we get quiet and allow our intuition to give us a nudge. And that can, nudge can come in any way, but the main thing is you get the nudge and then you act on it. Just like those times when you've called a friend, you've been thinking about them, call them and they say, oh my gosh, I was just thinking about you. That's your intuition advantage. So you wanna leverage your intuition advantage as much as you can. So this week, let's dial it up. 
Try as many different ways as you can to turn up the volume on it. And start with just a simple question and then you can get more complicated and answer some really challenging questions for yourself. I can't wait to see what you find out. Intuition is glorious and we'll be studying it for the next couple of sessions. So I can't wait to see what you find out. So post something in Facebook, send me a text, write me a note, go out, have fun, explore the magic of your intuition. I can't wait to see what happens. All right, until next time up your creative genius. Let's